Well, howdy, 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 and welcome once again to the Withlacoochee River Report, the report where hopefully you'll be highly offended by my compelling rhetoric. Yes, today I am messing around with my trains. We had a bunch of appointments over this week, so I haven't had to, I haven't been able to work much this week. So that's kind of the way it goes. I won't be able to work much the rest of the year because I don't want it cutting into my social security either. Now for the first time I have my uh, first three modules put together. No, the buildings aren't mounted permanently and neither are the vehicles that are on the, on the modules. I thought I might do that, but then again, yeah, might not work too well. And I noticed that most modular clubs don't even yeah, do remember that. Remember in the last report, I, I, I was uh, doing it from uh, the show at Dana's that we have every month during the uh, old geezer season. And uh, the big hall there was this right here. The Weaver flat car. It's uh, about a 52 foot flat car. I like it. I like the car. Uh, it was easy to convert over to two rail, of course. And then in one other show, the previous show, which was out over at the uh, fairgrounds, yeah, you've seen that boxcar before. That's true, you have. That's. I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna have to take and switch those couplers over to KDs for sure because they are just not really mating up with the KDs. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Uh, one of the reasons I'm not running trains at this time is because uh, I'm just now getting these jumper rails in. You know how with most modular clubs they'll run a piece of track over? Uh, that's basically what I did. Since I hand laid the track and the rail on individual wood ties, I, uh, I figure, okay, why not run a jumper rail over? <laughs> same same basic principle however with the uh, modules one and three I'm running it all the way to the edge and then the modules that run in between will have it cut back and then I can just use a short piece of rail with some rail joiners on it to join the uh, to join the tracks together no more than about two and a half two and a quarter two and a half inches works just fine and yes, the cars roll over it beautifully. Yeah, the next thing coming up, hopefully in the Trash to Treasure series, <laughs> will be uh, creating a load for said flat car. Uh, some kind of covered load, I would think. Flat cars are kind of cool with covered loads. Uh, getting some other details on here. I don't know what I'm going to do for trees on here. Uh, maybe make little modules that'll fit onto the modules or something of that nature. I know the next module I plan on building is going to be what I call the bridge module. And it will include a bridge. I have three, basically, Lionel bridges. Uh, you know... A long black one, a, a long silver one, and one of them short little uh, through plate girder bridges. But now I have these together, and that's that makes up a 12 foot length run there, which, while that may not sound like much, it's better than nothing. That's really all I got this time. Until next time, happy railroading.